Matter of fact, and it feels a lot better. Again, temperatures kept in the shade, so when you're in the direct sunlight, it feels 10 to 12 degrees hotter than what that temperature reads. Let me show you what we've got from today. The morning low temperature was 69. The high temperature, 93 degrees this afternoon. So one of our hotter days this year, missing the hottest day of the year by only one degree. Of course, nothing like the record of 103 set back in 19. 54 outside right now we are checking in at 90 degrees. We have an east to southeast wind at about seven miles per hour dew point of just 63. So although it's 90, it only feels like 91. It can certainly be a lot more humid than that this time of year. Other temperatures are mostly in the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees. It's a little bit milder to our east 85 in Kilmarnock, 85 also over in West Point. Here are your weather headlines. Comet Neowise is visible now at dusk. You don't have to get up at the crack of dawn to see this anymore. You just have to have a clear view of the horizon. After sunset, you can see that. Take along some binoculars. Even though it's a naked eye object, binoculars will let you have a good view of that tail of the comet. All right, heat and humidity be increasing with weekend heat index values 100 plus and a few storms will be possible each and every afternoon beginning later on this week. Let's check out the view right now through our Sky Tracker Diamond Cam. It's sunny there, but again, I'm uh, being blessed with one lone cloud. Now, what we have here, a couple little strips here. These are little sea breezes, and these are moving back to the west, and that will kind of just freshen the breeze a little bit out of the east and uh, allow us to cool down just a little bit, maybe three to four degrees. So that'll be nice when those sea breezes hit the Richmond area in the next couple of hours. Not much happening across the eastern United States under high pressure. Things very, very quiet. Some severe weather in the northern plains, upper Midwest, and also in the plains of Colorado. Yes, there's a lot of flat land in Colorado. Eastern Colorado is like a desert. All right, lows tonight will be in the mid to upper 60s and high temperatures tomorrow will make it back up into the lower 90s. Here's a look at your sky cast. I'm going to leave rain chances less than 20%. There'll be a few pop up showers and storms, but not many in east southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. High 92 tomorrow will be the sixth straight day with highs in the 90s. All right, rest of tonight, not much going on, mostly clear skies. And tomorrow, partly cloudy, one or two pop-up showers or thunderstorms, but chances in any one location pretty low. As we get into Thursday, a little bit better chance for pop-up showers and storms in the afternoon, especially back to our west. There's a look at your temperature trend. We might dip down into the upper 80s by Thursday. That's going to be as cool as it gets as temperatures climb into the low and mid 90s heading toward the weekend. But this is only part of the story. We're going to have some high humidity coupled with these temperatures. So the heat index coming up Friday afternoon over 100 degrees. Saturday afternoon, same story. And look at Sunday afternoon, heat index values maybe over 105 in some cases. There's a look at your seven day forecast. At least we'll have some rain chances, nothing high, but at least a better chance for some showers and thunderstorms as we approach the weekend.